Hey everyone, I'm Nathan Richards. Today I'm going to show you how you can take your worksheets and transform them into OneNote pages. Alright, so let's have a look at how we're going to do this. But before we get started, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, click subscribe click that little bell button and then you're going to be notified every time that we bring out brand new content. Okay, so I'm all about using what you already have and not trying to reinvent the wheel, especially when you're starting out with OneNote. And what's something we want to always try to avoid doing is just putting a page down and setting it as the background and asking the students to type over it. We really want to take advantage of the features and the usability of OneNote so the first thing I always like to do is make sure that I reference where it's coming from. So in this case, I'm just going to just screenshot this little bit here, but I'd actually go through and find where this came from. So I'm just going to leave that up there for now, just as like a little example. So one of the first things we're going to do is look at how to change this. And I probably, let's say I want to use all of it. I could come into my document here and I could select all of it and then I can come over to my OneNote page and I can paste it. And so there's the work brought over from the Word document that I've been supplied with transferred over to my OneNote page. And it's come in pretty well. Sometimes it can be pretty tragic how it comes in, but it's all dependent on whether it's coming from like a Word document or a PDF, you'll have different experiences with each. Now, either you can pull straight from here and transform it, or you can work from the Word document and just keep moving backwards and forwards. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this up, and this is how I normally work, and I'm going to pull this over because I'm going to pull this apart and take out what I want. So when I first look at this, I would obviously rename this beginning to what I want it to be. I don't really need to worry about the student name, so I'm taking out all of the stuff that I don't need, class, all of that's managed by OneNote. So I might have this first part here, which is about kind of reading the, the text. And so I'm going to come up and as we know from some of our previous videos, I wanna insert a table. So I'm gonna go insert, and for this case, I want to have a one by two. So I'm gonna pop that in because what I want here is this first part to come in and then I have kind of the rest of this here and I'm going to move stuff around and kind of as I use it this is actually my, my tip is that I'm going to highlight this here and then this is what I want and then you hit control or if you're on a Mac um, command X and that kind of moves out what I'm not using and so then I'm going to paste that in. I'm just going to move this over a little bit just because I don't need to see the Word document anymore. And so that text is in, it's in my text box quite nicely. I have my image here, so if I want to keep that image, I might want to use it. Absolutely, so I can Command or Control X. I'm actually just going to click off to the side and place it there like so. Then what's kind of nice here is that this table has formed. And I want to keep that, but I have the rest of this question here that goes with it. And so underneath, I'm going to work again with my tables. So in this case, and I'm gonna show you why, I'm gonna put another one by two in, and I'm going to take this first part. So I'm gonna Command or Control X, and then I'm going to paste that in. But this is actually already formed of a table, which is really nice, but I'm still gonna do the same thing but I'm gonna place it inside and that kind of kept things nice and neat and tidy. Now, I'm gonna kind of zoom ahead and then you'll see what the rest of it looks like and then we're gonna come back. Okay, so as you can see, I've zoomed ahead and I've transformed everything over into my tables, which is my first step. What's really nice about this is some of the techniques that we show you in some of our other videos. And that is where I can start to bring the real beauty of the OneNote elements in. And so something that I like quite commonly to do is to add one of these to the top. 
And this is just like a little um, pedagogical approach to how I like to scaffold the work. So anything that I consider to be an instruction, so this would be an instruction, I'm going to color code. So let's go through and quickly do that. Wonderful, and then anything that is stimulus, I'm going to go through and make it this purple color. And then in every part where I want the students to respond and write an answer, I'm gonna make green. All right, wonderful, there it is. So I have a little bit more clearer direction now based around my page. There are so many other things that we could also add to this to kind of really support the learning in the classroom. One of them may be my visual prompts. So I know there's a little bit of reading in here, so I might decide to take my reading icon and place it in here as a little stimulus. I might also decide as a differentiation technique that students can provide audio recorded answers instead of typed or written. So I could take my visual prompt for audio recording and add it into these cells here. I might also have a YouTube video that I want to use to support the learning in the classroom. So I'm going to copy the URL for this one. I'm going to come in and I might add it here in this part. I can get rid of that link if I don't want students to be able to click on it. And I also might center that as well. So that becomes supporting material for students who might struggle just in reading this that also may provide further information. I might want to add my own little bit of creative flair by adding this image in. Sometimes I like to oversize them a bit so they're a little bit hidden and then set them as a background, just as a little bit of artistic creativity. And then I might like to scroll down to the end and add in some teaching strategies that I might like to use or adopt. So something like this, a three, two, one summarizing technique, and also quite possibly come back and add in some more icons there to assist my students. So let's stop to take the time to look at how much we have transformed this by using OneNote. So on the right hand side, we can see the a traditional worksheet that we started off with, and we can see on the left hand side, the OneNote activity and how it has changed. And what has essentially just been a simple Word document has completely transformed into a highly more interactive, significantly more supportive OneNote page. And on top of that, there are so many more features designed to come into OneNote that can support the learning in the classroom. We've only really scraped on a couple here. So I hope you found this super helpful and I hope you have lots of success in transforming your worksheets into wonderful OneNote pages.